Right, well, here we are. Now, I've just tuned this, um, uh, this little MFJ945E uh, to 52.8 megs. It's got focus on that. Let's see, will it focus on it? You might be trying. Okay. And you can see this, uh, this white line here is the SWR, and that's showing one and the yellow line, or the orange line up here, is intersecting the vertical center frequency line at uh, 50 ohms. There we go. So that's, uh, that's how that works. This is what the tuner looks like at the front on 6 meters. And as you'd expect, we've got uh, very little inductance in there. There you go, as I say, it's a 945E. We've got very little inductance on there. It's on L, which is the minimum inductance. And it's on, um, I think it's about on nine and a half on the transmitter and on the antenna variable capacitors there. So that's a very minimal uh, capacitance as well. So you've got minimum inductance and minimum capacitance there, but it is giving a reasonable match. On, uh, on six meters. So if we connect it a radio to that now, SWR is one, impedance is 50 ohms, on, uh, on, uh, on 52.8 megs the, um, the, the radio would be perfectly happy. Now this is the, big, uh, the bigger tuner here. These, uh, this, these capacitors and this, uh, this roller inductor I bought for um, a different application but I ended up sort of throwing them in this box and just wiring them up to use for amateur radio and it um, will not tune six meters at all um, doesn't want to know anything about it and it's probably because it's got this you know sort of long very long wire here um, there'll be lots of stray capacitance all over the place in this thing doesn't really matter on the uh, on lower frequencies I mean I'll probably use this I've used this on uh, 20 meters and uh, I've used it on um, uh, oops I've used it on uh, 40 meters and uh, it works fine. I'll probably um, get around to replacing the, uh, the the fairly thin the fairly thin uh, wires, connecting it all together with uh, uh, little copper straps or some uh, some more substantial wire. If I ever get around to um, getting myself a or building myself a HF linear, I think if I was going to make uh, make myself some power on HF, I'd probably make uh, make a nice HF linear with one of those big Russian trodes in it. Or, uh, or an 8877, maybe something like that, something that will give me full legal power at um, uh, with very little effort. Okay, so um, I'm just going to mount the camera back on the uh, back on the tripod. Did I say this clicking noise is the bugs? I think it's the Australian lesser spotted cockroach mating call. There's certainly plenty of those around here. Um, but um, it's actually little critters that are making that clicking noise that you can hear. I've got one of the windows, got one of the windows open, so just a little bit of a uh, bit of fresh air in the place. Okay, so now uh, I'm just going to see what um, what load impedance we gave that on 50 megs. So with the meter again, just zero that. Okay, I'll stick that in there, and that on there. So that's on ten. So that's oh, that's, that's two, four, six, eight. So that's one point six k. So we gave it a, we gave it a uh, uh, a load impedance of um, 1.6 k ohms, and it managed to match that. I'm sure if it was lower, it would be fine. Could try just a very quick experiment, I suppose. Um, let's just change that change that load impedance to something like 100 ohms. So again, we'll just change the range on the meter, and, uh, just just uh, just zero it. Not that it makes a great deal of difference, really. 
if it's, whether it's 100 ohms or whether it's 110 ohms but um, okay here's my adjustable load Go that way. Ooh, there we go. So we'll make that make that a hundred ohms. There we go. I'll stick that back on there. Now, can I get the tripod in a position where we can see? the uh, okay. uh, zoom in on it a bit there we go okay so we can see the uh, the center frequency there is uh, 52.8 the SWI is 2.7 and the impedance is 73 ohms. At the moment the, the tuner is set to exactly as it was at the beginning. Um, when it was uh, uh, when it had the 1.6k ohm load. So I'll just change the inductance to A and I'll put the capacitors back to 50%. Which is a uh, the, 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 the tune start reference point if you like. So the capacitors are both at uh, the midpoint which is 5 and the inductor is on A which is the maximum inductance so we're just going to move the inductor around for the uh, minimum SWR we'll take an inductance out as we go around you can see the uh, SWR and the uh, impedance changing there it's 2.6 at uh, 43 ohms that's not bad actually Okay, so that looks to be about the uh, about the optimum. So we go past, we take a bit more inductance out, and the, the SWR goes up. It doesn't quite like that as much. So we'll use the inductance setting of I, and uh, we'll just adjust the uh, the transmitter capacitor just to see if we can get that down a little bit. Not very much happening there. Hmm, okay, all right. Well, we'll try the antenna capacitor. And that's starting to drop. There we go. You can see that SWR has dropped down to 1.4, 1.2. Okay, so 1.2, I think, is probably going to be the optimum there. There we are. 1.2, 1.3. It's reacting slightly when I touch it, but there we go. So 1.2, 56 ohms. If you were really, uh, if you were in a rush, you could actually use that. Um, just adjust the transmitter capacitor, see if we can tweak that in a little bit. Yeah, okay. And there we are. Looks a little bit peculiar. Um, it's a resistive load. But um, you can see it's, uh, it's, it's transforming our resistive load of um, 100 ohms, I think it was we gave it, um, into uh, 50 ohms is presenting on the transmitter port 50 ohms and the SWR is 1 so you could quite happily connect your um, uh, uh, your transceiver to that no problem at all and this time we've got a, a lot more capacitance on the uh, transmit capacitor the um, antenna capacitor is very similar to where it was probably nine and a half but the transmitter capacitor is all the way around to one which is quite a lot of capacitance because remember zero is maximum capacitance on these uh, on the capacitors but uh, as you can see SWR1 remember the uh, the white line is the SWR curve and the um, the orange line there is the uh, the impedance curve that point there if you look across 50 ohms at the center frequency of 52.8 so that's all uh, that's all pretty good all right well uh, thanks for watching that's just showing you the MFJ 945e um, tuning on the 6 meter band um, because it does say it's HF plus 6 meters and uh, as I say I've got no idea what the efficiency is like at this stage anyway but um, it will tune on 6 meters thanks for watching